Good morning, family, and thank you so much for joining us for this week's scripture reading. And this week we'll be reading from Exodus chapter 38, verse 21, through chapter 40, verse 38. 1 Kings chapter 7, verse 51, through chapter 8, verse 21. And Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. This is the sum of the tabernacle, even of the tabernacle of testimony, as it was counted, according to the commandment of Moshe, for the service of the Levites, by the hand of Ithamar, son to Aaron the priest. And Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Yehudah, made all that Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And with him was Aholiab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver, and a cunning workman, and an embroiderer in blue, and in purple, and in scarlet, and fine linen. All the gold that was occupied for the work in all the work of the Kadosh place, even the gold of the offering, was twenty and nine talents, and seven hundred and thirty shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. And the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation was an hundred talents, and a thousand seven hundred and threescore and fifteen shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. A becca for every man, that is, half a shekel, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for every one that went to be numbered from twenty years old and upward for six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty men. And of the hundred talents of silver were cast the sockets of the sanctuary and the sockets of the veil, and hundred sockets of the hundred talents, a talent for a socket. And of the thousand seven hundred seventy and five shekels, he made hooks for the pillars, and overlaid their tapters, and filleted them. And the brass of the offering was seventy talents, and two thousand and four hundred shekels. And therewith he made the sockets to the door, of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the brazen altar, and the brazen grate for it, and all the vessels of the altar, and the sockets of the court round about, and the sockets of the court gate, and all the pins of the tabernacle, and all the pins of the court round about, and of the blue and purple and scarlet, they made cloths of service to do service in the Kadosh place, and made the Kadosh garments for Aaron, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he made the ephod of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. And they did beat the gold into thin plates, and cut it into wires to work it in the blue, and in the purple, and in the scarlet, and in the fine linen with cunning work. They made shoulder pieces for it, to couple it together by the two edges was a couple together. And the curious girdle of his ephod that was upon it was of the same, according to the work thereof, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twine linen, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And they wrought onyx stones enclosed in ouches of gold, graven as signets are graven, with the names of the children of Yashadel. And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod, that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Yasharel, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twine linen. It was four square. They made the breastplate double. A span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof, being double. And they set in it four rows of stones. The first row was a sardis, a topaz, and a carbuncle. This was the first row. And the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a ligure, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in ouches of gold in their enclosings. And the stones were according to the names of the children of Yasharel. Twelve, according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, every one with his name, according to the twelve tribes. 
and they made upon the breastplate chains at the ends of wreathen work of pure gold. And they made two ouches of gold and two gold rings, and put the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate, and they put the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. And the two ends of the two wreathen chains they fastened in the two ouches and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And they made two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate upon the border of it, which was on the side of the ephod inward. And they made two other gold rings and put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath, toward the forepart of it, over against the other coupling thereof, above the curious girdle of the ephod. And they did bind the breastplate by his rings onto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it might be above the curious girdle of the ephod, and that the breastplate might not be loose from the ephod, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he made the robe of the ephod of woven work, all of blue, and there was an hole in the midst of the robe, as the hole of a habergeon, with a band round about the hole, that it should not rend. And they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet and twined linen. And they made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe, round about between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, round about the hem of the robe to minister in, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And they made coats of fine linen of woven work for Aaron and for his sons, and the mitre of fine linen, and goodly bonnets of fine linen, and linen breeches of fine twine linen, and a girdle of fine twine linen, and blue and purple and scarlet of needlework, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And they made the plate of the Kadosh crown of pure gold, and wrote upon it a writing, like to the engravings of a signet, holiness to Yahuwah. And they tied into it a lace of blue to fasten it high upon the mitre, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. Thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation finished, and the children of Yasarel did according to all that Yahuwah commanded Moshe, so did they. And they brought the tabernacle unto Moshe, the tent, and all his furniture, his tachets, his boards, his bars, and his pillars, and his sockets. And the covering of rams' skins dyed red, and the covering of badgers' skins, and the veil of the covering, the ark of the testimony, and the staves thereof, and the mercy seat the table, and all the vessels thereof, and the showbread, the pure candlestick, with the lamps thereof, even with the lamps to be set in order, and all the vessels thereof, and the oil for light, and the golden altar, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the tabernacle door, the brazen altar, and his grate of brass, his staves, and all his vessels, the laver, and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars and his sockets, and the hanging for the court gate, his cords and his pins, and all the vessels of the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of the congregation, the cloths of service to do service in the Kadosh place, and the Kadosh garments for Aaron the priest, and his sons' garments to minister in the priest's office, according to all that Yahuwah commanded Moshe, so the children of Yasharel made all the work. And Moshe did look upon all the work, and behold, they had done it as Yahuwah had commanded. Even so had they done it, and Moshe blessed them. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, On the first day of the first month shalt thou set up the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and thou shalt put therein the ark of the testimony and cover the ark with the veil. And thou shalt bring in the table, and set in order the things that are to be set in order upon it. And thou shalt bring in the candlestick, and light the lamps thereof. 
and thou shalt set the altar of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony and put the hanging of the door to the tabernacle. And thou shalt set the altar of the burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. And thou shalt set the laver between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and shalt put water therein. And thou shalt set up the court round about, and hang up the hanging at the court gate. And thou shalt take the anointing oil, and anoint the tabernacle, and all that is therein, and shalt hollow it, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be kadosh. And thou shalt anoint the altar of the burnt offering, and all his vessels, and sanctify the altar, and it shall be an altar most kadosh. And thou shalt anoint the laver and his foot, and sanctify it. And thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and wash them with water. And thou shalt put upon Aaron the Kadosh garments, and anoint him, and sanctify him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt bring his sons, and clothe them with coats, and thou shalt anoint them, as thou didst anoint their father, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. For their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. Thus did Moshe, according to all that Yahuwah commanded him, so did he. And it came to pass in the first month, in the second year, on the first day of the month, that the tabernacle was reared up. And Moshe reared up the tabernacle, and fastened his sockets, and set up the boards thereof, and put in the bars thereof, and reared up his pillars. And he spread abroad the tent over the tabernacle, and put the covering of the tent upon it, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he took and put the testimony into the ark, and set the staves on the ark, and put the mercy seat above upon the ark. And he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the veil of the covering, and covered the ark of the testimony, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he put the table in the tent of the congregation upon the side of the tabernacle northward without the veil. And he set the bread in order upon it before Yahuwah, as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. And he put the candlestick in the tent of the congregation over against the table on the side of the tabernacle southward. And he lighted the lamps before Yahuwah, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he put the golden altar in the tent of the congregation before the veil. And he burnt sweet incense thereon, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he set up the hanging at the door of the tabernacle. And he put the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and offered upon it the burnt offering and the meat offering, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he set the laver between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and put water there, to wash withal. And Moshe and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet thereat. When they went into the tent of the congregation, and when they came near unto the altar, they washed, as Yahuwah commanded Moshe. And he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moshe finished the work. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the kavod of Yahuwah filled the tabernacle. And Moshe was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation, because the cloud abode thereon. And the kavod of Yahuwah filled the tabernacle. And when the cloud was taken up from above the tabernacle, the children of Yisrael went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of Yahuwah was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Yasharel, throughout all 
their journeys. 1 Kings chapter 7, verse 51 So was ended all the work that King Solomon made for the house of Yahuwah. And Solomon brought in the things which David his father had dedicated, even the silver and the gold and the vessels did he put among the treasures of the house of Yahuwah. Then Solomon assembled the elders of Yasharel and all the heads of the tribes, the chief of the fathers of the children of Yasharel, unto King Solomon in Jerusalem, that they might bring up the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah out of the city of David, which is Zion. And all the men of Yasharel assembled themselves unto King Solomon at the feast in the month of Ethanim, which is the seventh month. And all the elders of Yasharel came, and the priests took up the ark. And they brought up the ark of Yahuwah, and the tabernacle of the congregation, and all the Kadosh vessels that were in the tabernacle, even those did the priests and the Levites bring up. And King Solomon, and all the congregation of Yasharel, that were assembled unto him, were with him before the ark sacrificing sheep and oxen that could not be told nor numbered for multitude. And the priests brought in the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah unto his place, into the oracle of the house, to the most Gadosh place, even under the wings of the cherubim. For the cherubim spread forth their two wings over the place of the Ark, and the cherubim covered the Ark and the staves thereof, above. And they drew out the staves, that the ends of the staves were seen out in the Kadosh place before the oracle, and they were not seen without, and there they are unto this day. There was nothing in the ark save the two tables of stone which Moshe put there at Oreb when Yahuwah made a covenant with the children of Yasharel when they came out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass when the priests were come out of the Kadosh place, that the cloud filled the house of Yahuwah, so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud, for the kavod of Yahuwah had filled the house of Yahuwah. Then spake Solomon, Yahuwah said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. I have surely built thee an house to dwell in, a settled place for thee to abide in forever. And the king turned his face about and blessed all the congregation of Yasharel. And all the congregation of Yasharel stood. And he said, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohim of Yasharel, which spake with his mouth unto David my father, and hath with his hand fulfilled it, saying, Since the day that I brought forth my people, Yasharel, out of Egypt, I choose no city out of all the tribes of Yasharel to build an house, that my name might be therein. But I choose David to be over my people Yasharel. And it was in the heart of David my father to build an house for the name of Yahuwah Elohim of Yasharel. And Yahuwah said unto David my father, Whereas it was in thine heart to build an house unto my name, thou didst well that it was in thine heart. Nevertheless, thou shalt not build the house, but thy son that shall come forth out of thy loins, he shall build the house unto my name. And Yahuwah hath performed his word that he spake, and I am risen up in the room of David my father, and sit on the throne of Yasharel, as Yahuwah promised, and have built an house for the name of Yahuwah Elohim of Yasharel. And I have set there a place for the ark, wherein is the covenant of Yahuwah, which he made with our fathers, when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Elohim, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his kavod, 
and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, And let all the angels of Elohim worship him. And of the angels he said, Who maketh his angels ruach, and his ministers a flame of fire. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore Elohim, even thy Elohim, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Yahuwah, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thine hand. They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as doth a garment, and as a vesture shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool, are they not all ministering Ruachoth, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Thank you so much for joining us. Shabbat Shalom.